The ties. That bind. The ties. That break. Ted, how the hell did you get back here? I know people. You got a lot of nerve, having me arrested and then coming here to visit me. This isn't a social visit. I came here to look you in the eye and ask you, man to man, why the hell did you do this to me? Did this to you, hunk, I'm the one locked up. What did you think would happen after you stole over six million dollars from me? Keep your voice down. Are you trying to get me killed in here? We've been boys since grade school. Why did you do this? If you needed money, all you had to do was ask. You know I would have given it to you. Instead you steal from me. You sound like some hoe, I cheated on. You don't get it do you Austin? No I don't get it. Well first of all, I'm not admitting to nothing. But let's just say, that if I had done the things that you are accusing me of, you would have deserved it. What the hell did you say? Do you remember when my mother's house was foreclosed on a couple of years ago? Yeah, I remember. You remember that she went into a depression after that. How she refused to eat, and eventually starved herself to death. Yeah, I remember. About six months ago, after she died, I was cleaning out her apartment and I found the foreclosure papers. The mortgage company that foreclosed on her house was Golden Boy Incorporated. Yeah, Golden Boy, your football nickname. And I was thinking to myself, nah, my boy couldn't have been the one that did this to my mother. So I made a few phone calls and did some checking, and found out. That it was you, that foreclosed on my mother's house. I'm just the owner. I don't get involved in any of the transactions. I didn't know anything about that. Your company was shady, Austin. The Maryland Attorney General's office sued you, and the state closed your company down for shady business practices. I didn't know about any of that until after we were sued. That's why I paid the settlements and I closed the company down. I didn't know that my managers were doing any of that. But you should have known. It was your company, it was your job to know what they were doing. Not just deposit the big checks they collected for you. So you decided to punish me for what they did? My mother was all I ever had. I lost everything because of you. You needed to know what that feels like. I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. But, you can't blame me for her death. You've been hurting people your whole life, Austin. And saying I'm sorry, isn't enough. You being sorry isn't going to give me back my mother. I didn't take your mother from you. Committing suicide was the choice that she made. Don't you blame my mother for the situation that you put her in. Your people convinced her to refinance her home in that shady deal and then up the interest rates on her a year later causing her mortgage to double. They were fired and some of them are in jail now. But you walked away scot-free. Because I didn't have anything to do with it. You're never wrong. Are you Austin? You're playing the victim, but I never intentionally hurt you. But what you did to me was purely out of spite. <laughs> it's still all about you. I see now that I should have went with my plan A. An eye, for an eye. There has to be something in here, somewhere. I've searched the nightstand, and the closet. Where else would he keep his important papers? I know that Martin is up to something, but how can I find out what it is? Oh no, he's home. Maybe I can hide in the closet. Sounds like he's coming. Are you ready for a night to remember? The question is, are you ready baby? It's quiet now. I think they left. Hello, Dana. Oh. Um, Martin. Missed me? Where's your date? She went home. So it was just a booty call, huh? Jealous? As if. How did you know that I was in here? The alarm was off when I got home. And I smelled your perfume. Oh. I didn't think of that. I always liked the way you smell. So you slept with her? Knowing that I was in the closet. No, we had sex. I didn't let her stay the night. I figured it would remind you of what you were missing. 
No, thank you. So why are you here, if you don't miss me? Dallas said that he saw you at my house earlier this week. I stopped by to see how you were doing. You can't keep doing that. You and I are over, Martin. I love Dallas. You didn't come all the way down to Southeast DC tonight to tell me that. Dallas broke up with me when I told him about us. And you needed a shoulder to cry on? I don't know why I came here. I guess I'm just used to running to you when everything falls apart. You can always come to me. That day that you were at my house, you said that Damon was right about me. What did you mean? So, is that the real reason you came here? To go through my shit, to see what you can find out. I can't talk to you when you're like this. You need to leave. Fine. And I'm changing the alarm code after you leave, so don't try this shit again. Whatever. And you stay away from my home too. You've caused me enough problems. I leave for Beijing in the morning. Are you sure that you don't want to come with me? I'm sure that you and Eve will be just fine without me. The jealousy thing is getting old. What did you say? You heard me. Eve and I have a business relationship. That's all. You can't be tripping every time I have to be around her. I'm not tripping. So then you don't have a problem with me going to Beijing alone with her. You can do whatever you want, Alex. That wasn't my question. Are you going to be okay with this? Do I have a choice? Yeah, you have the choice to trust me. If this relationship is going to work out, you're going to have to trust me. You are not the one that I don't trust. You have to trust me, I'm your man, not her. I'm the one you have to trust. I do trust you, Alex. Good, because I'm completely committed to you in our relationship and I would never do anything to hurt you. I hope you know that. Yes, I do. Wow, those guys are really good. I think they play racquetball professionally. It shows. Now back to mother, why on earth would she go to Rio? Doesn't she know that the United States has an extradition treaty with Brazil? She wouldn't say why she chose to go there. But now she can't get back home. <laughs> it kinda does serve her right. All she had to do was give Alex his money back in the first place. What did your contact say? My contact at the State Department said that for some reason the US Consul in Rio is holding up the paperwork. She's trying to expedite the process, but the officials in Rio keep losing the paperwork. Who in their right mind would be trying to keep mother with them? I guess the good news is that after this, mother will have to forgive you when you help her come home. Yeah right, like Hillary forgave Bill. Cheer up, Bill. Look at it this way, you and mother are partners in crime. Eventually she's going to have to forgive you if she ever wants to make it to the White House. What are you talking about Austin? Oh my god. Seriously Dallas, don't tell me that you don't know what mother has planned for you. What the hell are you talking about? Mother always has plans. I'm not talking about her general, everyday scheming. I'm talking about her long term. Calculated plans for you. What? Why do you think dad became mayor of DC? To improve the city. Because mother told him to. He hated politics and he hated being mayor. Well I'm not going to be mayor. <laughs> mother has much bigger plans for you, Mr. President. Are you serious? How do you know this? Dad told me everything. He couldn't run for a higher office because of Alex and Valise. Mother was afraid of everyone finding out about his affair. But you, she sees you going all the way to the top. She's going to start by having you run for city council. When did dad tell you this? It was the day before his heart attack. Well I'm afraid that mother is going to have to be very disappointed. I'm not becoming a politician. She'll have to get you to run for office. Me. I'm the screw up. Mother has absolutely no plans for me. My only job is to not screw up things for you. And that is why you should elect me as sophomore class president. A vote for me is a vote for better school lunches, more extracurricular activities, and extended study hall periods. Vote Dallas Pierce for sophomore class president. Great job, son. Boo, who wants a longer study period? Your campaign slogan is more homework. Boo, I know who needs a longer study period. Not bad. But if you want people to vote for you, you have to make them believe that they need you to win. 
that their success is tied to yours. He's running for sophomore class president, Angela, not mayor. It doesn't matter. You have to be their hero and make them believe that you are the only person who can make all of their problems disappear and that you can make all of the dreams come true. How do I do that? You are Dallas Anthony Pierce, the great-grandson of Jefferson St. James who turned his first general store in Easton, Texas into a chain of four grocery stores. You are the grandson of Houston St. James, who sold those grocery stores and purchased a cattle ranch which is now the third largest private-owned cattle ranch in Texas. And you are the son of William Pierce, the newly elected council member for the Fourth Ward of the District of Columbia. You come from a long line of successful men, and you will follow that legacy to do great things in your life. Angela, he's 16. Can you relax a little? He's not running for President of the United States. Not yet. This is just the first step. Angela, my love, are you okay? Emilio, thank God you're here. I came as soon as I received your call. I'm so glad to see you. It's been a nightmare. They wouldn't even let me call my sons. I'm so sorry that this has happened to you. But I'm here now. Everything is going to be alright. I will get you out of this mess. Please hurry. I haven't used the bathroom since before they dragged me in here last night. They are going to release you soon, and I will take you to my villa. There you can take a long hot bath and get some rest. Your villa. I, ah, uh, I think that I would rather go back to my hotel. They are releasing you into my custody. I am afraid that you must stay at my villa, or else they will keep you here until your trial. Trial? I thought this nightmare was over. Minha Querida, you have been accused of assault. I never touched that lying piece of trash. It is best not to say anything more here, my dearest. We will go to my villa and you will feel better after you have rested. My things are at the hotel. I need to go there and get them. Already taken care of. I checked you out of your hotel before I came here. It is all settled. Now, together we will figure out a way to make all of this unpleasantness go away. Officer, please come and release Mrs. Pierce. 